What's poppin' y'all? Uh, it's a little after lunchtime. Just ate some lunch, got some stuff in the yard, kind of what I could do without the rain hitting us, but I uh, got to thinking about a uh, little, about a week ago, I got a person that's really, really close to me. Um, care a lot about them and vice versa, you know. Our whole lives brought up together. And, uh, man, uh, I feel horrible, man. I feel like I'm not, I'm not, not too bad because Dad and Jesus loves me, man. But I guess my little human side of me kind of like, I don't know, my little earthly side of me kind of feels bad for what I, you know, what it, I guess what all happened. But um, I was kind of going through it last week, and uh, man, it's it's I feel more bad that uh, stumbles, you know, stumble on this person than anything, like because uh, you know, where I'm at in my walk, I can get past those things, and, and I, I got to realize some people ain't where I'm at in my walk, you know, because I'm I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, held to like this higher standard because what I'll be trying to you know preach on and just kind of. It's kind of like God, you know, Dad making me walk through it. Not making me, but just like helping me walk through it and just kind of like practice what I preach type thing, you know. And uh, that's why I feel so bad about the stumbling block thing. It's, I'm, I'm not mad about, uh, not even mad really. I'm just more frustrated about what I had done to, to cause it all, you know. And... Uh, thinking that they were strong enough to kind of like help us both up out of this little spiritual spiritual thing to kind of hit us but I had uh, I made a mistake man I, I, I text this person and not really some nice things you know and uh, it was kind of out of the blue man it was it was uh, I don't know I'm not sure why I'd done it man I'm still still repenting and confessing for that one and, and climbing up out of that one and, and getting my lesson on it you know because uh, as soon as I'd done it, I, I immediately repented and confessed and I felt horrible because I really knew what I'd done and what I'd like let my my words float out there. It was, it was some death words, you know, and um, I slipped, you know. I uh, told the person, not, man, I can't, I can't wait till you're gone and you go to heaven so we ain't got to mess with you and just see so you leave people alone and just kind of gave them one of those you dang miserable turd, you know? And, uh, that's the wrong thing to do, man. Wrong, wrong, totally wrong on my part. I trespassed against my, against my brother or sister, you know what I mean? And, and it, it affected me, man. It, it really did. It really, it still does. I know God, Jesus is going to work it out, but like, it really like opens my eyes to the whole thing and, and it affects, it, it, it affects me, you know? And, uh, because me and this person have, I love them very dearly, very, very dearly, and uh, I'm a little sad about it, you know, sad what I've done, and uh, I'm filled with joy, though, my cup runneth over, make my own mistake, you know, I'm still a happy person, but I'm, I'm you know, still kind of, kind of upset about it, not I myself, not the person, but uh it almost like almost let that like detour me not detour me but just i could feel like that was satan uprising in the whole situation to try to get me off my track and just because i seen what i'd done and it's a pr prime example of just because you're at where you're at don't mean that they can you know the other person can see what what's going on you know with with just the devil messing with things and just trying to interrupt things and i was being attacked man and i took my attack out on, on a good friend and he didn't know what i was kind of walking through or, or didn't even know what the hell I was talking about really and because I've never I've never really talked to them about about Jesus or um, just kind of expected them to know what I was talking about and just you know kind of lashed out and uh very wrong thing to do don't ever do that with, with a friend family anything man just just do your best to repent and confess immediately try not to even text the words out man and uh but it's a, it's I want to tell you guys this man cuz I'm learning from it and uh I think you guys could too as far as some of the ones that are maybe might be facing the same kind of issues I am, you know. That's all this is for just to kind of help you through life and get you to know Jesus and dad like I have. And uh all glory to them, man. 
and uh if it does cool if it don't then it wasn't for you and you're cool man so it's for the ones that want to listen and, and participate with jesus and dad with me man and uh but anyways i uh I'd said that, I'd said some mean things. I, I, you know, I said, man, I hope, I can't wait till you go to heaven. Just, I was just, just feeling, I was just wasn't him. It was just me, I was being attacked. Kind of leveling up, you know, each level you go up, you just kind of got these new little, new little monsters trying to come after you. And once you beat them and get up over it, you'll see, you'll see the picture, man. You'll see what, what was really going down and what's, what's really going on here and, and who's, who's doing what, you know? And uh, always lean towards God and Jesus, man. They're always going to walk you through this stuff, just like I am right now. And uh, so I immediately, I, I talked to the wife. She didn't know what I'd done. I'd already done it, you know. And, uh, I, you know, said some mean things. I said, leave me alone. I'm done, you know. Kind of went off and uh, told my wife. Started feeling bad for it later, you know. Dad put it on my heart. He's like, man... That's my that's my kid too, man. The person that you're being mean to. Why are you doing that? You know. And I'm like, oh, you're right, man. You're so right. And I immediately went to rip, repent and confess my anger off that person, and, and I even repented and confessed for them. If and just apologize for for their spirit and their soul, and and because we can do that for the body, man. We're in the body of Christ. I can pray for you. You can pray for me. And. uh I even was helping them, you know, and they didn't even know, they didn't probably even know I was doing it, but I was praying for their spirit too, because I just stumbled them, you know, I didn't, I didn't know at the time, but I, it, they wasn't as strong as me, you know, and my little, my little attack made their attack go way south, they was already doing good, you know, and my little attack made them pull back from me, and, and made the whole vision of our relationship blurry, man, and um, it got messy, man, it got, it still kind of is, I still feel dead and, and Bubba already working through it, already there ahead of us on this whole thing. Just waiting for both parties to catch up. And I, I'm, I'm, I feel like, I, you know, I'm here. I'm catching up. I'm I'm, I'm very, very honest person, man. So uh, as soon as I'd done that, I, I, I told my wife about it. And she's like, babe, you can't be doing that, man. Just because, you know, something ain't flying in your lane, you can't lash your stuff out on somebody. That's You're putting that sludge, your sludge, your personal sludge on somebody. They, everybody's got their own sludge we're trying to get through, you know. And uh, I was like, man, you're so right, wifey. And she's like, she didn't tell me nothing, but when she said, babe, you know, it's kind of against all the rules what we're trying to do here in life, you know. And I was like, man, she really... God was talking through her and she was talking to, you know, and her and Jesus and Bob or Jesus and dad. And they were, they was, they was all there, man. They, within an hour, I'd sent that text. I'd already feeling bad. Next day rolled in and I'm already, it's already on my heart to send a text and, you know, own up and, and apologize, you know, and really sincerely tell them, tell them what I said to them and tell them, what I, tell them I didn't mean none of that wasn't me i mean it, it, it was something i was kind of going through I, I didn't really go into too much depth i just owned it and because that death part that goes to god you know i gave the whole death part to god why i was being attacked why i felt this way and just kind of i repented and confessed for it and that's not that's not that person's fault where i took it you know and i've seen the whole vision on, on my part what i've done wrong and uh this is the part i'm getting to though like it still irks me man a person you know i've I said I was sorry, and I, I mean it. I, I, I told Dad everything. I've, I've prayed my prayers. I've, I've, I continue to pray for this person, and uh, I catch wind that a um, person's still kind of mad at me, man. Don't think it's right that I can just come along and just make you mad, and, and I can be over it, and you can't. You know, that's where I, that's where I get. That's where you kind of it kind of splits there. Does that give me a right to run around and offend people? No, no. But I am human and I, I do make mistakes. As long as I, I wrong, I, I right my wrongs, there's a difference there, you know what I mean? And that's what I did. I right, righted my wrong, you know? And uh, I'm happy. My cup runneth over, you know, with joy and heavenly joy and stuff. But, I, but I'm also, I'm hurt that I made my brother fall. 
you know, I gave him a lot of stuff on that text that, man, anybody would probably fall on that, you know, as far as like, not anybody, but just any old normal person, because that was mean, it was, it was out of the blue, it was, uh, not sure, I'm not really sure, uh, I think it was just a bunch of bunches, like a teapot, like pressure finally came off. And uh, I took it out on them. I took my, uh, my, frustration, my frustration out on my brother. And I made my problem his problem. And so within a day, within 24 hours, I was already trying to fix it, you know. Like I'm very sorry for, for the way I come off and told him I was being attacked that day and just kind of that week and just kind of going through some things, trying to trying to work some things out. And he kind of, I kind of let him get in the way of that, you know, and, and uh, it wasn't his fault and nothing was, it was all on me, you know. And uh, he had blocked me and uh, blocked my number, face all my social media and stuff. And, which is, under, I, I understand, you know, we all get mad and we do these kind of silly things, but. So I sent it to someone that I knew would get to him, you know, and, and I sent my sent my little heartfelt, sincere message, man, just saying I'm sorry that I, I said everything I'd said, you know, and, and I detailed what I said, and that I don't mean none of that, and uh, you know, I just kind of like you know, I'm I'm sincerely sorry, you know, and I really was, and I really am, and uh, that's a few days ago, man. I kind of heard from that person that gave the the note to him, and and uh, they're still mad, man. They're still mad. And uh, that's the part I'm kind of having trouble with today. Not not having trouble. I'm already already see what happened. Uh, I'm not mad. I hate that I make. I hate that that my brother is running after something right now that I put in his head. You know, not running at like I didn't put no like a rumor in his head. I just like he's running after frustration. You know, I. I, I it's like giving someone dope when they're trying to quit doing dope. It's just like that. I gave them something to kind of like, here you go, twist on that. I death talked it kind of, threw some death out there and, and, and put it on my brother. And I don't feel, man, I, I, I feels yucky, man. I had to repent and confess a lot for that. And uh, I'm still, you know, and, and I've talked to dad this morning and just kind of like, man, what's going on? Why, why, they hate me? Like, we both done some foul stuff to each other in, in life, and we both forgive me. I mean, but this one, like, and I talked to that other person that kind of, our middleman, and, and said, man, it's, it's just a lot right now to get over some of the stuff you had, you, you had said, you know, and I was like, dang. I got even more in the doghouse as far as, like, I started feeling bad. I Man, I had to repent and confess just frustrate you know, and, and just get right back with the Lord and, and not go down that little sadness and just that everybody don't like me thing and just I got to keep moving man it sucks I still I'm still happy I still feel love I still feel you know I said why can't they forgive me you know and and, and the middle person was just like I don't know like just give them some time you know not everyone's like you you know not everyone got uh I don't know. We're all built different. Some, that don't mean you, I mean, you have to let, let your brother and sister kind of like do it at their own speed, you know? And, she, and, and, and that middle person was right. They really were as far as um, just let it be, you know, uh, my timing ain't their timing. And just because I sent that message don't mean they're going to be able to decipher through it and see if it's a, a, a you know, the devil kind of attacking me and just it just don't sound like shame man and let me pray for him you know and uh that's what i should have been asking for that day instead of sending that message i should have just been saying uh i should have sent out a message saying hey will you, will you pray for me instead of lashing out to the people to my loved ones you know and uh because it's so easy to do man because they're so easily to forgive you you know but that don't make it right man that don't make it right that shit this excuse my language that stuff it hits your heart, man. It, it don't leave sometimes, you know. Some people have trouble, more trouble with than others getting that stuff out of their heart and their head, you know. Knowing that it's the devil and it ain't you and it ain't me in person. It's like the sludge in us attacks each other and like we got to kind of decipher through that and be like, man, I ain't taking that. 
We're victorious. We're children of God. We don't talk like this. Uh -uh, we're forgiven. We're forgiven. Jesus says so. If my sister or brother and sister for, uh, wrong me, it's, we're forgiven. We're supposed to forgive each other, you know. Might take a little minute, just that little five minute, 15 minute hour window just to kind of, but I know, I know some of that stuff got prime example. I, I lashed out instead of praying and, and, and I should have been asking for prayers instead of uh, lashing out, taking that, taking my battle to the earth. You know what I mean? To my brother and sister to that. They, he didn't, he didn't know what's going on. You know, I took a, I took an, a situation I'd been going through two or three days before and he got all the dump on it, you know? And, uh, I wasn't fair to my brother at all. And uh, I have done everything I can to, to apologize and just make it right and just, you know. But uh, in my own personal walk, yeah, dad's telling me just, to, you know, they can't they can't forgive like you can right now, you know. And uh, but does that mean you're better than them or they're better than you or under you or y'all are compete, compete? It's no, it just depends on how much you want to know me and, and you want to live a, a fun, happy life, and, and you want to be forgiving, a forgiving person. As soon as you mess up, Shane, and and that's how you live your life, you know. Because as soon as I forget, I'm I'm I am controlling my reality. I'm actually controlling you guys through my eyes, you know. Repent and confess and keep stuff off me, so I can see Dad and you, God in you, and Jesus in you, you know have to keep those that sludge off of us so we can uh see who our our brother and sister truly are you know and uh because uh, i never meant for to be a stepping stone or st you know to make make that person stumble ever i think it was just more of a, a venting lashing out venting type deal but like they wasn't where i was in my walk they're not as strong right now you know i'm not saying i'm not saying i'm not there's no competition this is just where Every day, all day, I'm with him. You know what I mean? And I'm, 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 <clears throat> I'm in the Bible in the mornings, talking through him all day. I've kind of jetpacked, you know, nitrous on my back, and I prayed for these things and, I, and these discernments and uh, and, and visions and, and the little sermons and stuff and all this stuff, man. I, I want it, you know. The more I want it, the more he gives it to me, you know. And uh, my little lesson on this whole thing was. Uh, just because the other person ain't on your time, you still have to forgive him, man. So I'm still forgiving that person today, you know? And I'm not letting that black sludge get on me today. And it's an everyday thing, man. It's a one day at a time thing. You're just keeping that monkey off your back, man, so we don't trespass against our brothers and sisters, you know? And, uh, cause that's what I done. I trespassed against my brother and, and, and it, it stung, man. I'm still kind of feeling the lesson, man. And, uh, Cause everybody's God's kids, man. And uh, yeah, man, it 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 really affects me, man. It, it affected me, still kind of does. But I already know God and Dad are God and Bubba are, are uh, five steps ahead of this whole thing, man. I already know, I already see it and feel it. I guess I just wanted to explain to you, and, and, and my prayer to you today is, is is just for you to to be able to forgive anybody and everybody that's ever done you wrong, reaching your heart of hearts. And forgive these people, man. If they've ever trespassed, ever, man, just reach in your heart of hearts, no matter what it is, even if it's the hardest of hardest ones, man, just reach in there and, and get it out of there, man. It'll, it'll try to manifest upon you on some of these people that you run back into in life and, and just get it out of there, man. Reach in there and just repent and confess. Go to chopping away with that machete, man. And, uh, yeah, man, it's it's been a humbling experience as far as I'm no, I'm not perfect, man. I'm not a saint. I'm no, um, I'm a child of God. That's all. You know, as far as like, I'm, I'm not trying to be this. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. God in heaven is, is my Father, and uh, I treat them like I'm. I've been adopted, you know, and uh, I always report to them, and I always, I always talk to them, and I always look for them in people and situations, and uh, I'm a new person, man, a new body. Totally different rules, totally different ball game. New covenant, new rules, new. There ain't no going back to the other lane, man. And like this right now, if that that old, that that person that if I'd have been me in my Saul days nine months ago, before Paul days, 
if that had been, been me back then in my soul days, that person wouldn't have phased me. F that person, I don't care. What's he gonna do to me, hurt me, bite me? So what? He'll get over it, suck it up, buttercup. But not now, man, not, not today, man. Cause he's, I love you guys, man. Y'all are my brothers and sisters, man. And, and through Christ, through, through Father, man. And, and I, don't want no, I don't want no charges on me, man, I'm, I'm from some of you guys when you go up there or, or vice versa. I always wanna keep that off me. If you guys offend me, charges are done, man. They're done. No charges for me. Jesus took it all, no charges, no charges. No choice. He didn't mean to, man. I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to always try my best to just forgive you and move on. And you should too, man. Because that stuff will linger. And we don't want to take that stuff to heaven with us. We want refined here, man. We want refined to water to silver to here. Not up there. <coughs> I want to read you a little scripture. To go with a little bit of what I was kind of going through today. And it's in Luke chapter 6. Uh verses 27 through 29 and this is in red writing so you know it's j-dog man he said all this stuff so listen up 27 it says but i say unto you which here which here love your enemies do good to them which hate you bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you and unto and to him that smiteth thee on the one cheek Offer also the other, and then and him that taketh away the cloak, forbid not to take the coat away, to take the coat also. And man, to me, that's that's just case in point of what I'm going through right now. As far as I'm not gonna let that frustrate me that he won't forgive me, you know, because I did I did trespass against him, but I'm not gonna let that frustrate me because because it says here that we're supposed to you know, forgive our brothers and sisters and he should learn how to forgive me. Yes, it was wrong what I'd done, but I'm not, I'm not the one still mad about it, I guess. You're the one not talking to me or, or still, you know, playing the blocking game, you know? So, and no offense, I mean, it is what it is. I'm, I'm, I've, I've literally like gave it to God and Jesus and told him I messed up. I word for word what I'd done to you, you know? And, uh, repent and confess with my heart of hearts man and knew what i'd done and not just like oh man so what i wronged a brother or like not like i i was a stepping it was it was a and it was it was pretty deep man it it, it affected me you know because i want you know i'm trying to do some preaching and trying to like i'm trying to i ain't coming at this i'm trying to let y'all know dad and jesus are are and they ain't mean, they ain't out to get us, man. I'm just trying to come with this peace and just, you know, get my little message on there and just kind of help help as many as I can, man, just the lost ones. If you ain't lost, then cool, man. If you are, I'm always here, man. Reach out, uh, holler at me, and uh, get you to the meeting, man. Get you to know Jesus and Bubba. Because in here, in Luke chapter 6, 27 through 29, the ones I just read, it says, oh, well, he, he won't forgive you. Um, keep loving him. Keep forgiving him. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm, I'm really hurt. And I want to go, you know, that evil. I've already had that evil poke me a couple times. Like, man, screw him. Screw him. Do what you do, man. Nah. Let's go ask God about that. Get out of my head, punk. As soon as I say, let's go ask God about it, he's like, Phew. he leaves, man. You don't want to talk about it. It's because he's down here, keep in our heads, you know, making us trespass against each other or, or putting us little, because that's what I've done. He put a little, a little thing in my head and I just kind of, I bit on it. Got Gator rolled for it, about 24 hours on it. And, uh, well, for a little bit, for about an hour on it. Once I repented and confessed, I was cool. I just wanted to leave it alone. And then 24 hours later, God and Jesus put it on my heart that like, you know, let's man up and let's uh, let's reach out and, and let's say we're sorry, man. Let's just reach out and say we're sorry. You can still leave it alone. Just reach out and say you're sorry for, for trespassing against him. And that's what I've done. And it feels so, it's, it feels so wonderful. I feel so, I, I feel worse for the person I trespassed against, but I'm just trying to teach you also that like, you you know, that person ain't, he ain't forgave me yet, you know? He ain't even talking to me. I don't even know if I ever get him back as a friend, you know? 
or, or, or you know, family in my eyes. But like, I mean, it's to that point, but it's at the point where, Dad, I tried, you know, and he's telling me, well, that's the madman running crazy, man. We're all on a river. I run the river. God runs the river. We're all on a river. Y'all are little fish swimming with the river, with the current, with the current, to Jesus, with the current. And all these, and some of these other people that stuff happens, and, and you, son, Shane, immediately gave it back to me. And therefore, it's, it's done. You ain't going to do that again. You ain't, you know, you repent and confess for it. I know your heart. It's done. But your brother that you wronged, he's still swimming in it. He's still hating on you over it. That's no bueno. I need him where you're at. I need him to be able to make a mistake and still be for, and still forgive yourself and forgive others. So that's why I'm here, man. That's why I'm doing this little this little skit skit here. It's just uh, be an example, man. That's it. I'm preaching a little bit of the gospel, man. I'm preaching the truth. Like I said, I'm, I'm human just like you guys. I learned my relationship with Father. Just dipping off in this book here, man. And uh, he'll put it on your heart. You really want it. It's just like quitting dope, man. Or quitting any stupid stuff that's got you held down. It's just like that, man. If you really want to quit doing dope, you'll quit doing dope. You'll get tired. Same way with Father in this Bible. You really want to see through the bull crap and see true happiness and see the real world of worlds? Open the book up, man. But until then, I mean, if you ain't ready, you ain't ready, you know. Because his name's Jesus. And, uh, and Father, man, he ain't, they ain't out to get you, man. I mean, they are, but in a good way. They're not scary. They're not out to convict you of nothing, man. Jesus already done all the work. All you have to do is confess it. Jesus done everything for us, man. All you have to do is confess it. We're already loved. We're already graced. That's it. And just stay in these lanes of, of good. And, and when you wrong your brothers, turn back and give it back to Father. And tell him what you done wrong. And he'll put it on your heart to go back to these people and do what you can. And and do your best. And, and, and if, even if it don't work, keep going with me, son. And I grab his little hand, you know, I'm a little kid to his. And we're just walking on. And we're, we're, we're not moving on from this person. But at, after a time, I can't, you know, like like now, I can't sit here and be like, well, why is he, why won't he forgive me? That sucks. What the crap? What? The, what? Am I worth it? Am I, do I suck? Am I me? I can't do all that. I ain't got time for it, man. Either recognize that I wronged you, forgive me. Or just don't and just keep praying and learn how to how to forgive each other, man. It's it's in here. It's in here. But um, I want to share that, man, which and uh, I hope y'all having a good day and, and, and hope you're staying dry, man, because it's been raining his butt off. And uh, Godspeed and God bless, guys. Peace.